through Texas history today. We're here in uh, Wharton County. Let's see what we can learn about the uh, courthouse as well as some of these historical markers in the courthouse. The courthouse itself is the third courthouse to be built here in Wharton County. It was built in 1889, established in 1846 when the county was established. The first marker we see today is uh, Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. Hard to see. This is the back of the Martin Luther King marker. It basically states all the people who helped place this marker here. This next marker is uh, specific to the county. It's of a sheriff, uh, Hamilton B. Dixon, who lived 1855 to 1894. What's interesting about him is he was actually killed in the line of duty. Uh, as a sheriff at the end of uh, 1894, just before he turned 40. There's actually two markers here. There's this. Here's the marker on the back side. Gives you a little bit of a epitaph. As you look at the big marker on the back side. On each side, there's a little bit of a brief note that specifically has his uh, birth and death date. We can get a closer look at the front that shows you his likeness. Let's go back here on the other side. Kind of interesting that on that last marker they specifically talked about he cleaned up the vicious criminals in this area i thought that was pretty interesting uh, i imagine in the uh, 1880s and 1890s that uh, this was a pretty lawless area here's a marker on the courthouse itself these are the day when it was actually uh, laid and, and started the construction. There's two sides there. I assume these are the judges and the uh, people who actually... Here's a marker I'm glad to see still here in Morton County. No matter what your opinion is of the Civil War, there still were soldiers, they still fought for what they believed in. Assuming most of them probably fought. This is the side of the uh, courthouse. You can see all the way up there, the clock tower. And the bell does work. It rang just a few minutes ago at the hour. This is the Wharton County Veterans Memorial. There's an internal flame in the middle, which it is lit. It is hard to see in this wind. Veterans of different wars. They're all around this particular memorial.
here. Here's another side of uh, the marker. Gives you the list of men who fought in World War One and World War Two. And it does not say if they were uh, they died in action. But I would assume that the top two rows with World War One and World War Two are probably included in that list. Here's uh, members of the Korean War, the Vietnam War. Members of the Marine Corps that fought in Lebanon. And uh, looks like uh, Private First Class in, in Iraq. few years back, about 10 years ago now, to open it in 50 years from the date. There's a lot of construction going on behind me, but this is the uh, Wharton County Courthouse Historical Marker, right in front of the main entrance. Here's the main entrance to the courthouse. There's also a gazebo here on the side. And we'll go check out the last two historical markers. One I'm gonna show you real quickly because there's gonna be a separate video on him specifically. And the other one is uh, right beside it. They're both from... Uh... These last two markers are on the uh, side of the courthouse here. They're both Texas Centennial markers. Just a little different from each one. This one's on the county specifically. And some of the men it's named for William Wharton and John Wharton. And then across from it is the Robert Williams Hill. That's typical of most of the Texas County Courthouses. They've got a big square around it. You can see all the buildings. At one time, this was probably the epicenter of everything in the county. 